Hi folks, Jeff Williams here where we have the largest selection of Chevrolet Silverado and GMC trucks with up to $5,000 cash back or 0% financing for 72 months. Plus you can take full advantage of over $9,000 in cash back and Autry Moreland discounts on select Chevrolet and GMC full size SUVs. That's Autry Moreland Incorporated, 2505 East Malone in Sykes to Missouri. Before the sign on the back of your car, truck, or horse, you pay too much! Good morning and welcome back to the Statesman News Network. My name is Corey Knowles and today is Wednesday, November 10th. Got a few things happening today. Uh, Longtime Dexter Chief of Police Paul Hobold has retired from heading up the local department, effective last Friday, November 5th. According to City Administrator Mark Stidham, Hobold, who has experienced some health concerns of late, cited those concerns and his age for his announcement and stepped down from the position immediately after making the decision. The former chief celebrates his 60th birthday this week. A former Dexter Police Department employee is free after posting bond after being charged with four counts of stealing several thousand dollars from the department over a recent period of time. Tammy Renee Fields, who has served as chief secretary of the Dexter Police Department for the past 10 years, was arrested last week following an investigation by Detective Lieutenant Trevor Pulley of the department. An internal investigation by Pulley revealed that between June 28, 2010 and September 28, 2010, Fields took part in a number of steps to steal funds from various entities of the police department. The full story is in the paper today with mounts and all that stuff. It's interesting. You should read it. In other news, a Dexter man has been arrested and charged with the Class B felony of sexual exploitation of a minor, the Class D felony of possession of child pornography, and the Class A misdemeanor of furnishing pornography to a minor. According to a release from the Dexter Police Department late Tuesday, 35-year-old Michael Lee Wilson is jailed under a $30,000 cash-only bond following a tip that was called into the department Monday from an out-of-state source. Uh, full story's in there, too, and it's, it's, it's interesting. Uh, in weather, today's going to have a high of about 74 with a low of around 46 under partly cloudy skies. Should be pretty nice. Uh, it's going to be pretty warm until Saturday when the temps begin to fall down into like the mid to lower 50s. And rain's going to move in, I think, Friday night into Saturday, and then Sunday evening into about Tuesday, it looks like. I don't think it's going to be a complete washout. There's going to be plenty of it. Also, don't forget the Thursday webcast of the annual Veterans Day ceremony at the Bloomfield High School Gymnasium. Webcasts begin at 10 and can be viewed by simply going to dailystatesman.com and clicking on the Bloomfield Wildcats Sports Network link on the top left side of the page. Just click play and enjoy. If not, there will be an archive of it up later in the day that you can watch. Uh, we'll also be on hand at several other veteran ceremonies, the one at the Veteran Cemetery at Bloomfield, the one here in Dexter, the one in Advance, so there should be more information on those coming out real soon. I'd like to thank everyone for tuning in and watching the Statesman Newscast. If you have any questions or comments, send us an email at cnoles at dailystatesman.com or give us a call at 624-4545. Don't forget to pick up a copy of the print edition for these stories and a whole lot more. And on that note, we'll see you back here tomorrow. Thanks for watching.